What's going on YouTubers? This is Harry, also known as the Brand Builder. And in today's video, I wanna talk about why resellers like myself and others, we ignore Black Friday and Black Friday deals. Before we get into the video, what I would like for you to do right now is hit the subscribe button and get that thumbs up going on too. So hit the thumbs up, like the video and spread the message because once you hit that like button, it's gonna go viral. So don't watch this and not hit the like button. I would love for you to please hit the like button and let this thing go viral. So anyway, I'm gonna talk about what I think a reseller's ultimate goal is, and I'll talk about what a reseller should try to do consistently, right? So let's talk about the mind of a reseller and why we ignore deals and what deals do to the resale business versus what doing it consistent, doing your reselling consistently could do for you over time, right? So let's talk about it. This is an item I recently just listed online. But here's the great thing about it. This is the glass 42 ounce container. And this is the motor to this black and De Decker blender. Okay. Now, together, this item is not worth no more than maybe 40 bucks, right? separate it's worth $60 why is that okay so sometimes when people destroy the motor to these things or depending on the model uh, and what it's worth and how the motor works when people destroy these things they just want to replace the same item that they already have they may not be able to get their hands on a brand new one or they may not want to spend as much money on a brand new one but if they can find one from a reseller like myself for a fraction of the price just to replace what they already have, what they already love, what they've been using for a long time, they'll spend the money just like they will if they ever broke this glass. And a lot of times, a lot of blenders, they don't make glass blenders anymore. Most of them are made of plastic and a lot of people don't like that. They like the glass. So how do you get the glass? You have to buy one. Well, if Black & Decker is not making glass blenders anymore, then how do you get it? You get it from a reseller. Now, the coolest part about this is just like in my other video, make sure you check out my other video, uh, how to get free stuff to sell online. I got this item for free, 100% free. How did I get it for free? I went to an estate sale that was ending. Well, actually, excuse me, a garage sale. I went to a garage sale that was ending and uh, the gentleman actually, shout out to Lauren. Uh, Lauren's the one who called me and told me to come out. Uh, she's one of my business partners. But uh, told me to come out to the garage sale. Um, I thought it was the one I sent her, but it wasn't. And um, the gentleman had all this stuff he was just trying to get rid of and empty out his garage. And, you know, he's going to take stuff to the dump. So I was looking around to see. And I spotted this out of many things. And like I told you guys before in the last video, I almost feel like I'm going to keep this thing because it's a nice decoration. I just got to really clean it. And uh, I might just hold on to it because I really like it. It looks like a dungeon layer like uh, display for... Um, you know, design and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I got this for free and the combination of these is gonna make me at least 60 bucks online. Uh, I have sold items like this before in the past and it's worked miracles. So when you break things uh, up into different categories, you can always make more money, right? Just like when I tell you about coffee makers or anything like that. So what does that have to do with Black Friday deals? Okay, Black Friday deals, you actually have to spend money to get the deal, right? So you can buy something that usually costs about $300. You can buy it for $100, right? So what do the resellers do? When they buy it all up, they try to double the price. And that's really wonderful. That's really awesome. That's really great to be able to do that. But there's a few problems that you run into. Once your inventory is gone, you can't replace it. And now you're heavily dependent on that model of sales and you can't duplicate it, right? The model that I'm using is always duplicatable because it's, it's based on a skill set that only certain resellers have, right? This is what most resellers would call secondhand reselling, right? And I do like secondhand reselling, even though I have a lot of new stuff that I sell, I do like secondhand reselling because I think that is the perfect way to step outside of the box to rake in profits. So when you step outside of the box and you step outside of the realm of all your competition, and this is the reason why, 
If I had a bunch of Hewlett Packard laptops and everybody else has them from Black Friday, I have a lot of competition I have to deal with in order to sell my items. Me personally, I don't have much competition because I can turn anything into a sale. I can actually break this blender up even more. I can take the, mo the blades out and sell the blades separately. I can do a whole lot of other things. I could break things up more and more and more and more. I could just continue breaking it up and selling it and getting more free items to break up and sell for parts. So that's the cool part of what I do when I'm reselling. Am I a secondhand reseller? No, I'm not. Am I an opportunist? So most, well, I guess I could say that I am an opportunist when it comes to selling. But I would say that I was overall, right? It would be just like uh, someone in sports who was good, like in basketball, assist, you know, rebounds, uh, points, you know, and, and a whole lot of other things, uh, turnovers. So, but here's the thing. When Black Friday deals are going on, there's a lot of things that you have to consider. One, you have to travel. Um, two, it's going to be time consuming. And three, you're going to have to compete with everyone to get deals, right? Which is not so fun, right? Because what you want as a reseller is you want the calm in the storm. I have not left my house this Friday for Black Friday deals. And I will not leave my house for Black Friday deals. When I do leave my house, I will be leaving my house to purchase groceries. That's right. Make myself some dinner. If there's some deals on food, I'm going to take advantage of that. But my thing is, it's very simple, right? Black Friday deals, not interested, right? Because I make Black Friday deals every single Friday. How? Because I know how to find a way to rake in 50 to 60 brand new items every single week for free, right? And how I do this is like I said before, I find people who are getting rid of stuff, uh, people having garage sales, people who are having estate sales, and people who are having yard sales, even though it's winter time, quote unquote, you're not gonna see too many um, garage sales. But here's one thing, you will see a lot of free, 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 take it, free, take it, free, take it. Now, all you need is space, equipment, um, connections, and contacts with people who can help you get those items, right? I'm using my pumpkin spice creamer for my coffee this morning. So that's all I have for you guys. That's why I avoid Black Friday deals because as a reseller, I'm just not interested. I'm not interested in uh, sitting in lines, joining the crowds, fighting over items, fighting over inventory. My inventory is gonna be well off because I have a secret sauce. My secret sauce is free items. Trying to make it so that 97% of my items that I resell are free items. So if 97% of my inventory is free, I don't have to worry about running after deals. I don't feel like spending $1,000 to make 5,000, even though that's a great idea. And who wouldn't want to do that? Well, what if I can go free to make 10,000? Free to 10,000. Doesn't that work? That sounds really wonderful to me. So free to 10,000. Now, if I can go free to 10,000 every month, free to $20,000 every month, I would rather do that and go from 1,000 to 5,000 because Black Friday only comes once a year. What are you gonna do for the rest of the year? Anyway, that's all I have for you. Make sure you guys are commenting on the video, sharing it with friends, share it on social media, whatever you wanna do. And also hit the like button, comment below, let me know what you think about the video. Have a good one. And don't forget, check out the music, some stuff I made on my own. And if you like it, comment below, let me know.